morning everyone. Today is the 30th of May but tomorrow obviously is the 1st of June and the lovely Tracy Fox is doing an amazing collaboration for June. It will be all the design team plus friends. Absolutely incredible and it's Halloween in June which I think is absolutely brilliant. I think it's absolutely amazing and we're just having so much fun with the kit that Tracy gave us. Now, it's another one of Tracy's lovely matchbox kits, which, you know, I absolutely adore Tracy's matchbox kits. And I've just really, really been inspired by this kit. I really have. Um, let me show you the kit. So we have, uh -huh. these are the bases for your boxes. And then all the different boxes which are absolutely lovely they really are now they're a bit bigger than the normal ones that, that she does normally they're exactly the same size as a matchbox um, but these now are a bit bigger and i'll show you that reason why in a sec I'll, look she even did pokro have to have mr pokro in there and then we get lots and lots of ephemera absolutely loads of it now i have printed this in so many different sizes it's unreal um this is what you will need to make a mini book to go in your box okay and she's got the pages up here as well how are these aren't they fab i love silhouettes they've just they're incredible to work with gorgeous gorgeous ephemera and you've got some wonderful packaging tags. Um, just lovely. I've cut loads of spiders out. <laughs> I even cut some of her buggies out. Now, this is the second part of the book where you take the three printing pages and you join them together, which I'm going to do in my next video. I'm doing two this time. Um, I've got diabetic neuropathy on top of all the other problems that I have. And um, at the moment, it's in my teeth. Uh, it's like neuralgia. I've got um, extra vertebra, so it gives me an extra set of nerves in my teeth, which is great. And it moves. So one day you think you've got an abscess one side and the next day it's the other. But it's not an abscess. It's actually just nerve pain. So I'm going to make the videos reasonably short so that it's easier for me. And also, you're not sat here wondering what I'm doing. Aren't these great? I love them, the little hinges. So you've got your little envelopes which match your boxes and then doors. Now, this was the bit I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Where's the doors coming? <laughs> but you know what, Tracy? She likes to throw a square ball at you. Um, so anyway, doors, and they are just amazing. Um, it took me a while to decide what to do with them, but I made something so that's the kit now in the group at the moment she's also got a freebie page which is this one I can move it. how fab is that i absolutely love this page i really do um so this page is a freebie which means you can do so much more if you add that to the kit they work really really well together because the colorways is perfect now what i then did is i went and bought last year's Halloween kit that Tracy did because obviously I wasn't around doing it. You know, I didn't do DT then. I, well, I was doing D, I was on DT, but I, I didn't do anything because of all the other problems I've got. And this other kit that Tracy did, as you can see, it's the papers that go with the kit for your, your mini boxes, your match boxes. And they are lovely, absolutely lovely. So it, it stretches the other kit. And if you've got them both together, you know just think of a gorgeous journal that you could make absolutely lovely as well as tracy gives you extra bits you know always wonderful extra bits that you get to inspire you i always love the rounders and then tags now these tags i've only printed off one set of tags but the tags come in three sizes as tracy always does which really helps a lot you know when you're doing a journal you can decide what to tag you want so those are the kits that i'm using oops 
Pages, I'll pull you out and get them out of the way. So, what I did this time is I made a couple of little folios. And that one's come out of that one. So I made a couple of little folio boxes um, for my tags. So let me just show you my tags first. I think I might have to bring you down a little bit, don't I? Yeah, because they're quite tiny. I'm going to bring you down a bit there. I hope you didn't get feel seasick. Right, this is my first one. What I did is those little hinges that I showed you. I do think they come a bit further. Sorry, I hope you're not feeling yucky. Um, the hinges I put on my doors, which worked out so great. Now, the only thing with this is because I've used card to keep the door shut, you just have to make sure you close the hinges right. <laughs> That's it. And it works really, really well. So let me show you the other ones. I love this one. Absolutely love this. It's the shape of the door. And Tracy, of course, gives you numbers. Now, you've got 31 and 13. So if you, do, if you don't like using the number 13, you can use 31. Um, that's one of the little things underneath. I just had so much fun with this. You'll laugh where the lace came from, the black lace. Um, I was having a good clear out and I uh, it was an old black bra. Um, I've never worn it. <laughs> But the lace was beautiful and so a while ago i just chopped off the lace it's not the sort of thing you can really pass on unless it's family is it and uh i used all the lovely black lace off this lovely bra that is lovely i just i had so much fun as you can see i've had great fun cutting out the spiders and here come the buggy bugs now remember a door doesn't open one way only <laughs> You know, you've got to remember that. Don't do them all on the same side. So I made sure I did some on the other side. Now, can you see this lovely patina colour on here? <laughs> that was purely because somehow I overprinted. I don't know how I did it, but I got the most gorgeous, wonderful um, hinges there. I've got two wonderful green hinges. Uh, these doors were done on... Um, when you go into word printing it's the box that's smaller than printing at full size and then with the tick off that's the size that i used and the tags were done on the same the lovely witches they remind me of the witches from wicked you know the broadway uh, musical they, they, they you know when you see the advert I thought that, that's the first thing that came into my mind. So they're my tags, and I did have fun making them. I really did. So, <clears throat> and they fit perfectly in my wee box. So I've got all the measurements to make it easier on you. Let's just pop it out. It just makes it so much easier if you've got all the measurements. Now, this one... And this one, as you can see, I've got totally different tops on them. Okay. Now, what I did, if you measure a piece of card that's eight by six. Okay. So eight by six piece of card. Then you mark one inch, four inches and five inches. There, up here, up here. This is what you use for your decoration. Now, this came from an old Crafter's Companion um, die. You know, when Crafter's Companion, those particularly over in the UK will remember, they suddenly brought out a lot of dies for cards, but they were for the edge. So you'd have the edge um, pretty. That's what that was come from. And this one, I used a saucer. I marked the middle and here. So I knew that was two inches from the top there. And that was the middle. And I slotted the saucer in. And I got a beautiful, beautiful curve on that one. Now, sizes on here, just so you can know, it's three inches there. That's an inch, three inches, one inch. Okay. Bottom is six inches, obviously. And the tall, you know, the, the, the height is eight. So that's all, all the sizes. You decide what sort of top you want to make. Then the front panel here. That's four inches by the six again. And you have a score mark at one inch. And then these, right. Um, now, to get this, 
here I used the um that's why I left that out Tracy had these lovely lovely um ball clips on there and I traced around those to get the shape of the top of that but the height of this is two and three quarter inches and again it's six inches across and they fit in perfectly and all you need to do is to get that ball clip and you literally only need this little bit at the top and you draw around that and obviously if you're doing the end one you make one and then you turn it over to the other side, don't you? <laughs> so you see, you see what I was doing the shape, trying to get it in the right place. Um, I want the side ones. These are bits that you concertina up. These are your side panels. You need two of these, and that's three inches by five inches, and that's your concertina bit on the side. Really quick and easy to make. And I thought it'd be great. I can put my tags away. I can use them, you know, whenever I decide, or I can gift them. So to make the box. It's just a case of scoring on those marks that I've told you about and then folding it all up. As you can see, I scored them all up so you wouldn't have to sit here and watch them do it getting this green scoreboard out. It makes life a bit easier and quicker. I mean, obviously, if you want to make them a bit taller or whatever, just play around with it. It's, it's, you know, it's fun when you start creating with paper and card. So that's that for that, because that goes in there. Oops, wrong way round. As you can see, that's the freebie. I've, I printed it on the inside of the boxes. And then these, um, which way does it go? That way, that way, that's it. Just trying to remember which way you have to do the mountains and the valleys. And I don't mean Frankie Valley either. If anybody likes John Lloyd Young, and they're going to be around on Saturday, there is a live stream going out um, in Los Angeles. And he has the most incredible voice, doesn't he? And as you know, he's won, a t he's won so many awards, Tonys and Grammys and... Um, I'll put the link at the bottom. I don't think Tracy will mind. And uh, it would be great if you came along and joined everybody. I know those who are actually over there are going to have a meet and greet on the sa on the Saturday. An Italian restaurant somewhere. Right, okay, that's the fun bit. <laughs> now comes the gluey, 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 gluey bit. Andrea from Artie Mays, she was saying her glue was playing up as you know the hot weather has plays havoc on your glue um so don't forget those who i mean most people know this anyway but just with your fabric tape, you just stick a tiny bit of acetone in it you know your nail varnish remover and it works a miracle but also you've got to remember that you've got um it's not just in the winter, it's not just in the summer, it's in the winter too, because in the winter, your glue can freeze if you're not careful. So that's the shape of your box. Once you've glued that bit on there, that's the shape of your box. Now you can make that smaller if you want. It's, you know, you just play around with it. It's however you feel you want it to be. Let's go here. Remember which way around I'm gluing it. And then it's gone on the side. There. Go it around that way. I've not crafted like this for such a long time because the paint has just been too much for me and um, you know when you're on the volume of medication that the doctor stuck me on at the moment it's just you know you, you, you're getting between having a sleep and waking up it's one of them type of things you just try and cope with it you know oh, hang on, I'll put that one back to front didn't I 
Darth, 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 darth my gut. Oh, it's just wipe that glue off. I want it to be the same. <laughs> we all make mistakes, don't we? I remember creating craft when I first start. It says there's no mistakes, they're happy accidents. Because guarantee you can make something out of it. Let's just shut that onto there. There we go. Wait for that to make sure all that glue is off. It's not sticky. Because we're going to have a mess otherwise. Let's get that onto this side. Now there are loads of folios out there, different people have made folios. Um, oh, Tracy has, as you know. So you can easily find a folio if you don't want to just make your own. Make sure that's completely dry, that glue that I stuck on there with the dafty. I'm going to put the list of all the girls who are taking part on here afterwards. At the moment, it will just be their channels until their videos are up. Because obviously, it depends on when the girls do their videos. And we've all got a day each. Um, mine is the 11th. So this one is just the, the flip through one. This is not the main video. The main video, I'll be doing the books. Um, and that will be later. So there we are. And then you just decide what sort of clothes you want. So easy peasy. And the um, little inserts go in. Now you can glue your inserts in if you like. Um, but they don't need it because they fit really snugly. them in and then the tags where are they the tags fit perfectly Let's just stick your tag in there you see they just fit absolutely perfectly in this in this size box which for me was great because it meant i can keep them all safe i can pop them up on my shelf and they're all there for either giving away or whether i make another make a journal for halloween or whatever i decide to do they're all there ready so that's our little box um, now, the DT list I have here, oh, I did print it off, <laughs> I've got more back, to, I've, you know, you've got, I've turned these round the wrong way, so I can't see those, I've doubled back, you know, I've, I've messed them up and put them up. Right, so, Tracy will be on, on the 1st of June. Now, Tracy is not doing a load of videos like she normally does. Because obviously um, those in group will know that Tracy's niece um, has had a tumour removed and they've got a lot of family problems at the moment. So prayers for those, please, if, you, if those who pray and good thoughts. So she's doing the first. The third is Corrie. You all know our Corrie. Then we've got Michelle Scott, Janet Schmitz. Nat Williams, love me, Nat to me, bits I've known her for ages. Michelle Landry, Kerry, and we obviously Kerry, um, which crafts do you do? Um, I've known Kerry uh, in the group for as long as we've been crafting, you know, and it was Tracy that got us into it. Michelle Jordan Hartley, Judy Marie, then myself, Linda Welsh, Jessica Harris, Maggie, obviously Maggie does DT with me, and Tracy and the group. Jez, you'll all know, Catherine, Angie, Angie, I mean, her mixed media work is incredible, absolutely unbelievable. Wilma, Kerry, Chantel, Linda Adams, Laurel, Debbie, Seri, obviously, you know, Seri's on telly as well, isn't she? Michelle, Janet, then Kerry's gone again, Corey, Emily and Michelle. So we've got a full month incredible incredible craft is going to be doing this 
and it would be so lovely if you supported them all and liked their channels you know just click that subscribe button and it would make such a difference to all the girls um i'm tickled pink because this month at least i'm up <laughs> You know, I'm going to get this video done, then I'm going to do the next video so I can get them up so I can really enjoy this month and sit back and have a coffee and watch all these lovely, lovely creators. Now, the hashtag is going to be Creep on June. OK, it's written right at the top there. You know, can you see it's Creep on June? So if you want to find any of the videos, you can stick the hashtag in and they'll all come up or go to one of the girls, mine or somebody else's, and you will get. All the links so i so say at the moment it's just their youtube channels but on the day that they're due to go live all the videos will come live so i'm so looking forward to this um just a note on the kit the um from the first of june for five days there will be 50 percent off now how incredible is that so do pop over to tracy's shop i will link her to shop as well and the kit and just let's have an amazing halloween in june thank you so much for watching everybody and i'll see you all soon